I'm going to give you guys the secret to getting your channel monetized in the next 30 days using only AI. So you can start getting results just like this channel over here who's now making upwards of $20,000 a month. And just to show you guys that this method actually does work, this is the channel that I showed you guys by the way. Their competitors, one of their competitors right here, started two months ago already monetized. Another competitor two months ago as well already monetized. Another one. 14 years ago, but that was an MW2 video. So technically only one month ago and they're already monetized. And these channels over here aren't actually using the exact method that I'm gonna show you in this video. So technically you might actually be able to get monetized quicker than any of them. Before I tell you guys a secret on how to get your channel monetized in the next 30 days, first we need to understand what do we actually need to get a channel monetized. So right now, all we need is just a thousand subs and 4,000 hours of watch time. I'm pretty sure as well that you can get monetized by having a thousand subs and like 10 million views on your shorts in like the last however many days. But I can guarantee you, if you follow this correctly, you'll get 4,000 hours of watch time, no problem. Also, what are you gonna need to do all of this? You're gonna need ChatGPT to make the scripts for the videos. You're gonna need CapCut to actually edit the videos. You're gonna need Canva for the thumbnails. And you're gonna need 11 Labs to actually get the voiceover for the videos. Now these obviously, most of them are gonna be paid. They do all have like free options that you can use. But if I'm gonna be honest with you guys, if you actually wanna do this as efficiently as possible and make the most amount of money as possible, you're better off spending the money on these programs. Like the saying goes, in order to make money, you gotta spend money. Can you do all of this completely free? I'm sure you can. It's just going to be very annoying and it probably might take you longer than 30 days. Now step one to getting monetized. What is the very first thing you got to do when starting a YouTube channel? Obviously, you got to pick a niche. Now there are three ways that you can pick a niche. The first way that you can pick a niche is just by simply picking something that you are passionate about. If you like cars, make videos about cars. If you like fitness and working out, make videos about fitness and working out. If you like cooking, make videos about cooking. Whatever you like, you can make videos about that. Now the good thing about picking something that you're passionate about is that it's gonna be a lot easier for you to actually make the videos. You're actually gonna enjoy making the videos, so you're probably not gonna get burnt out as quickly as you are picking a niche that you absolutely don't care about. But the downside is obviously, if you're passionate about something with a low RPM, then you're probably not gonna get paid as much. But I mean, hey, at least you enjoy it. The other method is picking a high RPM niche. Well, high RPM niches are pretty much niches that pay you the most amount of money per thousand views. Now that can include anything like personal finance and investing. Those type of videos can pay you between $15 and $40 plus Per thousand views which is very good now these type of videos don't necessarily get as much views as something that's trendy like celebrity news but that's fine because you're getting paid a lot more per thousand views compared to any of the other niches so even if your views are lower you're probably still making more money now another one of those high rpm niches are something like make money online and side hustle videos in other words this video these type of videos can pay you anywhere between ten dollars to forty dollars per thousand views and lastly tech and software tutorials. These can pay you anywhere between $8 and $30. If tech is something that you're passionate about, like, I don't know, if you went to school for something like computer science, computer engineering, and you actually have knowledge about this and you're passionate about making videos, well then you're in luck because these type of videos pay you a good amount of money. Now the third way that you can pick a niche is simply by watching my videos. Obviously, you don't have to just watch my videos. There are a bunch of other people that make the same videos like these that give you guys very good niches as well. I have a bunch of videos on my channel where I give you guys niches that you can pick from to start instantly. I think the last video I posted, I gave you guys about three or five, I forgot, it's been a long time. Now step two to getting monetized is obviously, you need a channel to get monetized. What else are you gonna monetize? So make your channel, it's really not that hard. Please do not overcomplicate this step. Your name, do not overcomplicate. You're not naming your firstborn child, you're naming a YouTube channel. Just name it whatever you want. Go look at your competitors once you've picked your niche, put it into ChatGPT, tell it this is my competitor, give me a name. It's gonna give you like a list of like, I don't know, 15, 20 names. Pick whichever one, do not do not overcomplicate it. Your logo, tell it, this is my name, make me a logo. I always take the first one, I couldn't care less. If I'm testing a channel, I'm taking the first one. Do not overcomplicate this part right here. This is the easiest part. Now step three to getting monetized. This is where things are gonna get very interesting. So make sure you pay attention. Now the trick is you're going to post two long form videos per day. And you're also going to post four short form videos per day. The reason why this works is because your long form videos have a completely separate algorithm than your short form videos. So don't think because you're posting, you know, six videos in total per day that these videos are gonna affect the performance of the other video. The short videos have their own algorithm, the long form videos have their own algorithm. Now why are we posting four shorts and two long form? The way we're gonna do it is, two shorts will be a sneak peek to your long form video. And two shorts 
will be, you know, their own standalone video. What I mean by this, I'll give you guys an example, don't worry. The channel that I showed you in the beginning, I'm gonna use that as an, as an example to show you guys how to replicate it. So I'm gonna give you guys a niche in this video as well, which is actually a very good niche. If we look at this channel over here, first of all, I just wanna say, I genuinely believe this is like one of the easiest type of videos that you can copy because all it is is literally just a random image in the background or a video, whatever you want. Whatever you wanna put in the background, just put it as long as, you know, it's not weird. And then a random woman, you can pick whichever character you want. These are stories, so you're making your own stories. Your character, the character's name, subtitles. And that goes on for the entire video. These guys sometimes change the things, you know, do different things. But that is literally it. Now the title is My Husband Divorced Me by Text Message and Emptied Our Joint Account. He had no idea what was coming. The whole concept is like, you know, they're trying to like lure you in, tell you like, yo, my husband just divorced me, he took all our money. He had no idea what I'm going to do to him. Does it sound interesting? Me personally, I couldn't care less. Their marriage, their problems. But it got 1.2 million views in three months. So clearly it's working. Now what I meant over here in terms of the two shorts will be a sneak peek to the long form video. For the two shorts that you're going to make, because you're posting two long form videos, those two shorts are pretty much going to be the long form script, which is normally about, uh, depends how long you're making the video. Could be anywhere between 4,000 words to like 6,000 words. The short form script would probably be like, 500 words and it will be a very very dumbed down version of the long form script and at the end is a CTA call to action to pretty much get the viewer who just watched that short to go and watch the long form video on your channel. So you're pretty much funneling views from your shorts over to your long form. Now shorts are also very good at getting subs. That's why we're posting four and we're also posting two standalone because we don't want to just post all of our shorts as a funnel. Because then people are going to be like, well, look at these guys. So I'm going to show you guys real quick how we're actually going to make these videos. Now we're going to head over to ChatGPT. Now, very important. Anytime I write any of my scripts, I don't just like give in my prompt right from the get-go and pretty much tell her, yo, make me a script. You got to ease it in. Think about it. If you're trying to get married, you don't just go up to the father and tell him, yo, me, your daughter, married. It's not how it works. You got to ease it in. You got to talk to him a little. You got to pretty much tell him what you're about, what you're trying to do how you are as a person. So in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the video that we wanna copy, not necessarily copy, but you know what I mean. And we're gonna put it into, and we're gonna put it into a transcript extractor. The one I use is Genlify. You can just search up YouTube transcript extractor. You'll get a bunch. But all you're gonna do is pretty much copy the link over here, click on that a robot and just click analyze. It takes a couple seconds. Once you have the script, show you guys what to do. Now we're gonna to to talk to ChatGPT a little. So pretty much what I'm gonna tell it is, I'm gonna tell it I will send you a transcript of a video I'm trying to make. I want you to analyze the video, understand why this video did very well from the hook to the structure of the script, everything. I pretty much want ChatGPT to understand how these guys wrote their script. And then instantly starts analyzing the hook, the narrative structure, the tone and the voice, emotional engagements, character dynamics, pacing, everything, which is exactly what we want. Now we can either copy the video idea almost word by word, or we can ask ChatGPT to give us a bunch of different video ideas. Now, the way we're going to be coming up with video ideas for this channel is gonna be by is gonna be simply by looking at our competitors, taking whichever videos, you know, did well for them. Also, through ChatGPT. So now I just told it, can you give me a similar video idea to that one that includes everything you just analyzed? And it gives me a pretty decent one, actually. My husband secretly put our house in his name, so I sold everything he owned while he was away. It's a pretty good idea, to be fair. Then, once you've finalized exactly which idea you wanna make, now ChatGPT will make the script for you. Usually ChatGPT can't give you guys, you know, 5,000 words all at once. So it's going to end up stopping at some point. Just tell it to continue. And it's going to continue right away. Now, I'm probably not going to make this entire script for the sake of this video. So I'm going to take whatever I have right now and show you guys the next step. Next, we're going to head over to 11 labs. Now, if your script is like 5,000 words, and you want to do the entire script all in one go. You can't do that in text to speech. You got to head over to studio and you can do it all from here. This is usually how I always do it. I, put, I paste my entire script. And I just wait for it all to generate. It usually takes about like 10 minutes. And then I just export it. Okay, now we're going to head over to CapCut where we're actually going to make the video. So pretty much very quickly, I kind of put the, the background image or video. I put the script down here as well. For the background video, obviously, because it's like 15 seconds long or however long it is, I'm just going to copy and duplicate it if you're lazy. Normally, what I would recommend is obviously change up the video. Don't just keep it for the entire video. But that's up to you. I've seen other channels that are in the same exact niche. They literally have the same video for the entire... 30 minutes, sometimes even 40 minutes. So it's up to you what you want to do really. And then for the picture, remember this is the picture I got off of ChatGPT. We're going to click on it, head over to remove background, click on auto removal. Like I said, in the very beginning, these tools, some of them have the pro features. Is this worth me paying however much I pay for it? 
don't know because I'm pretty sure there's going to be free softwares out there that can do the same exact thing. And then you can download the image and put it into here. Now we're going to put Vanessa right here, somewhere around the lines here, kind of like how they had in the video. Now I have the text over here as well for like the, the little microphone thing, kind of how like they had it. Head over to stickers and search up microphone icon. I have mine in the favorites just so I can always find them. And then for the name, just add text, put the name. I usually put a few spaces so there's actually enough space for you to put the microphone. Height, all the way down, width, all the way up. And then obviously add a background, do whatever color you want. I just pick this color. And then to, and then to get like the little border thing behind the subtitles, I had no clue how they did it. So I literally just took a screenshot of their video, gave it to ChatGPT, asked it, how did they do this? Told me, I have no clue, but if you want, I can give you a border. So it made me a border and I just downloaded it, have it saved put it into here. So just ask ChatGPT to give you a border for the subtitles. Cause I don't know how they did that to be honest. And then obviously get your captions. So click on auto captions, generate. Once the subtitles have been made, just kind of like fix them up a little bit. Uh, for the font, I always use, uh, where is it? This one, however you pronounce that. And then just kind of fix it up. And uh, that's literally pretty much it. Obviously the video that you're gonna make is gonna be a lot longer than this. I don't know if you can actually hear the video, but just to show you guys kind of how it looks, it something like this, where the text obviously subtitles over there, house. names over there, the woman's over there, images over prepared. there. So that's how you make the long form video. Now for the short form video, we're going to go back to ChatGPT and pretty much tell it. So now I'm going to tell it, now I want you to make me a script for a short form video regarding the story we just made. I want the purpose of this short to get viewers to watch the long one. So it's going to make me a script over here. Usually, I'm going to be honest, for the short form videos, it's kind of bad. The CTA at the end is always for some reason bad, so I always end up changing to something I come up with. But the script that it gives you is pretty good. For this video, we're not going to care too much. Just copy it, go back to 11 labs and generate it. Now we're going to pretend the long form video is now the short form video. Literally, the only difference is going to be here is you go over to ratio and you go to 9 by 16. And then obviously you fix up the stuff. And that's literally it. You just make the name bigger. You make the little mic thing bigger. You make the subtitle thing that I got from ChatGPT bigger, subtitles bigger, you put the woman in the middle, and that's pretty much it. This is how it's gonna look in the end. I could have done a better job by you know, making this centered or fill it up through the whole screen, but you get the point. But that's pretty much it. If you do exactly what I showed you for the long form twice, and then you do it twice again for a little you know preview thing, and then you do it again twice for the short form for its own standalone video, so in total you're posting six videos per day, you're going to be doing very good. You can do the exact same niche I showed you guys in this video because really it's very easy. Even I started doing it. Or you can pick whichever niche you want. You can go to some of my old videos. I have a bunch of niches that I showed you guys there as well. If you guys are actually going to start this, you know, comment down below that you're going to start and then give an update after a month on how you did. Because I saw a comment recently of some guy saying like from one of my old videos, he followed the strategy, still implemented things from his own. You know, I'm sure he's a smart guy. And he actually did end up getting monetized after like forgot what he said. I think it might've been like three videos or something. So that's amazing. When he, when I read that comment, I was very happy for the guy, but I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Just, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for this video. To be honest with you, I think the biggest secret to getting monetized is actually starting.